Our garden sized weather vanes look great in your backyard, but some customers choose to install them on the roof as well. If you'd like to adapt a garden sized weather vane to fit into any cupola size, follow these simple steps and you'll be enjoying your new weather vane in no time. Today, we're using a 22 inch vinyl Manchester cupola. Your garden sized weather vane will come with a thin, unthreaded rod, but it will be too small for the cupola, so you can set it aside for this project. You'll need one of our standard sized rods. If you let us know that you're installing your garden sized weather vane in a cupola, we can send you one. If it comes with a brass ring, you can remove that as well, because you will not be needing it for this project. The large threading on the bottom of the assembly rod is specifically designed to fit one of our extension rods, should you need more length. Start by screwing your two assembly rods together and tighten with a set of wrenches. Now, we'll remove the copper top of our cupola with a pair of gloves to avoid smudging. And we'll insert our assembly rod so that the large portion of the rod is flush with the top of the cupola. Now, we'll tighten the set screw with a wrench Now, place the copper top back on the cupola. And make sure that the large assembly rod is flush with the cupola. All of the weather vane parts will fit on the smaller rod. To begin assembling your weather vane, place the large spacer ball on the rod so that it rests right here. Then, interlock the directionals and place them on the rod so that they rest on the large spacer ball. The directionals are meant to remain stationary and you can tighten them with a flathead screwdriver. Then place the small spacer ball. Some weather vane figures can just slide right onto the rod without a retaining clip. But if your figure has a flange on the bottom of its rod, then it requires a retaining clip to make sure that it doesn't get picked up off the rod by the wind. Like this plane, you'll need to hold the retaining clip here and slide it onto the rod like so. Make sure that the top of the retaining clip is not touching the flange, and then tighten with a Phillips head screwdriver. When you're finished, share a photo of your work on Facebook or follow us on Pinterest. Thanks for choosing Good Directions. We hope you enjoy your new weather van.